I'm 23 and I identify as a transgender female. 25 years old. I am FCM. Um, I'm a straight male. I am a male to female, transgender female. My pronouns are she, her. Gender fluidity, it's it's meaning that um, at any one given point, you could be feeling more one gender. I am 19 years old and I'm a male to female transgender. 20 years old and I am a trans male. I identify as a transgender woman. Male. Male to female. A transgender woman. Transgender post-op woman. Post-op transsexual. Transgender. Transgender male. Female. A woman. The more trans people I meet, I'm just like, there is no typical story. So this is what mine is. I'm Xander Aroff. I'm 21 years old and I identify as gender fluid. It was, it was right around when The Danish Girl came out that that seeing that movie, just as, like, in the film, Eddie Redmayne's character, Lily, that it's, like, the first time that that she put on a dress, that it's, like, the Lily was unleashed in her. My name is Brooke McGill. I am 20 years old. I identify as a woman. I am male to female. I'm a transgender woman. Generally with the hormones, uh, it affects my mood in that I'm a lot more emotional. I tend to think things are cuter. I know I cry a lot more. Um, there's just tears everywhere. Yeah, I mean, right off the bat, it was like um, like a weight coming off my shoulders. <laughs> you know? But I mean, one thing that I am nervous about um, is I'm a singer, I'm a musician. And so I know when you start testosterone, your voice drops and there's a chance that you won't really be able to sing as well anymore. And that concerns me. What you'll get with me is uh, a little sass, a little sex appeal, and open-mindedness. <laughs> I am three years in as far as like um, taking hormones. I haven't had any surgeries yet. I'm planning on getting at least something done, um, like cosmetically wise. Um, nothing too drastic. Like I said, just maybe like an implant or two. <laughs> I started identifying from the age of four that I wanted to be a woman, which shocks a lot of people. Mum thinks it was actually even from three years old. The reason why I'm so proud to say that I identify as a transgender woman is because throughout finding myself and being in the media and being able to back my community, I've really found strength behind the, tr the word yeah. transgender. For a long time, I was stuck. Um, just figuring out who I was, um, and I couldn't figure out anything else. I didn't know if I even wanted to live to have a career. So um, now that I'm finally past that point, I'm excited about life, and I'm excited to see what's going to come and who I can help. Um, and so it's just amazing finally being who I am. It's every day can be a happy, joyous, memorable experience that we will all have forever. And it just all it just takes is for all of us to get together and be like, this is our lives. We're living this right now. If we're not going to have fun right now, then when? In the future? That's not getting that the future's not guaranteed. Let's, let's have a good time today. The scariest thing about being under one roof with all these people on all these hormones and things like that um, would be I guess we're, we're still learning ourselves, so we're kind of all over the place, and it's going. It may be chaos. It may be not chaos, like, but it, it, it'll probably be a little bit chaos. I personally, you know, I consider myself one of the lucky trans people in the world. As as much as the shit I've been through. I've had my share. I consider myself one of the lucky ones because I'm educated. I have a job. I have a place. To stay. It's all very humble and simple and small. I'm sexy. I'm hot. I'm smart. Uh, and don't you mess with me, bitches. I will. I will get. I will beat the shit out of you. I have no. I have no problems with that. I would love to stay with seven or how many ever people that you want me to stay. And I'm like I said, I would have a lot of fun would absolutely love to be on the show because I believe that I can bring some down under realness. G'day, mate. <laughs> I think that I could be the older sister, mother kind of vibe. I've got 12 years of transgender living experience under my belt. And I think what 
what better to be able to add uh, diversity not only within people but cultural background and uh, in different countries. It still is uncomfortable for me. Like a lot of if I decide to go on in public in a in a dress or or different things, so you have to worry about like people calling you like a fag or gay or like oh that's like a transgender person like ew like whatever like transsexual um being in the house with like you know fellow trans people or anybody who's who identifies um would be very like helpful for me because um i i honestly don't understand myself the whole spectrum privacy in the house will probably be very low but that's always a uh personally i'm fine with that i don't need much privacy <laughs> I need privacy sometimes, but with a lot of things, uh, dating, relationships, sex, I'm, I consider myself a very open person. I'm sure everybody's going to have their different personalities, which is always quite interesting to see how people get along when you put them all together in one household. I don't know how many bathrooms there are. I feel like this is a preemptive issue. I still go through a lot of things. It's not like, you know just because I've been a homo this long and that, that, that is like over. You still go through a lot. I just hope we don't like fuck with each other too much. But if it happens, I would like speak up.